the next data type that we are going to cover is a type of which is called actually it's called list but if you program in python for instance or c plus plus or java is the same as an object okay so let's create my object and we're going to use the function list and inside we can put whatever we want for instance we can plug in here years m1 and m3 okay if you run this object here in the environment you see now this new symbol this triangle if you click here you see all the elements of this of this object okay if we use my object here you can see all the elements and a couple of things to take into account. So the first thing has to do that the elements are invoked with a double square bracket, as you can see here. For for instance, my object tab one is the first element. Okay, and I have to use a couple of brackets, as you can see here. The second is M one, and the third is M three. Okay. The other thing that you have to take into account when when you invoke this object is that you don't have numbers here. Despite the fact that we use years M1 and M3, we have lost those names. But you can repeat this command again. Let's copy and paste. And now we're going to see years equal years, matrix 1 equals M1, and matrix 3 equals M3. And now my object has the names included inside. And this is pretty useful because instead of using this awful syntax like my object, double square bracket one we could say simply my object dollar years okay okay be careful because in in r the symbol for the elements of an object is the dollar symbol is not the dot the dot is not, it means nothing so i could say my variable equals three and this dot doesn't mean that variable is the element of the object y okay this is just simply a name it's like in Python, for instance, if you use the underscore, okay? Okay, so there we go. We have objects, we have matrices, we have vectors, so we can combine all together, okay? But now let's see the most interesting data type, which is data frame. Data frame is basically like a spreadsheet, like an Excel spreadsheet. And you have to think about the columns of that spreadsheet as the elements of the data frame. So let's create one data frame and play with it. The syntax is pretty simple. This is my data frame. And I'm going to use this function, data frame. As I was saying, the dot is not, mm, is not a way to extract a method or, a, or an element of an object. It's just a way to, to make the syntax more clear. So data frame, and I'm going to plug in the data frame years. And now, this is really interesting because now, if I include years, all the elements have to have the same number of elements. So remember that years, has five elements, so I cannot plug here a matrix, for instance. I could say, I could use, for instance, let's practice a little bit, factor mail five times, okay? And now we have this data frame, as you can see here. Again, a data frame contains different elements, so if we plug in this triangle, we could see years, and, and, and then we have this factor. Again, if I print the contents of this data frame, the first one has a proper name because it was years, but I created this inside, so this is pretty awful. So let's call this um, sex. And now, okay, this is going to be more readable. So the, as I was saying, the data frame is a kind of a spreadsheet. So the first column is years, the second column is sex, and as you can see here, it has the same structure in columns and, and rows. Okay. As you can imagine, now we can extract the elements using the dollar symbol. So, for instance, my data frame dollar years gives give us the first vector, and dollar if I plus press tab sex the second element. Okay. We can also do some slicing. Let's say my data frame one one is going to extract the the first row for the first column. Let's repeat this too. And now, as you can see, is the first row and the second column. So it's like in matrices, but we're playing with a different type of object. Again, we can extract ranges like one, one, two, three of all the columns. As you can see here, the, fir the third, the first three rows, or the sec, or everything. Let's say everything. Sorry, 
with the minus sign everything but the, s the first three rows, which are the fourth and the fifth. Okay, so everything is more or less the same now. Once you get familiar with this syntax, it's pretty pretty simple. 